Day three, the final day of competition at the 2008 NAIA Outdoor National Track and Field Championships for the Simon Fraser University clan. Emily Palabroda in the final of the three kilometer steeplechase. Palabroda, a freshman, finishes the race in a time of 11.42. In his final race for the clan, the stoic senior Dylan Gant is out of the gate into the final of the three kilometer steeplechase. Gant is up with the lead pack throughout the first two kilometers. In the final straight, Gant finished a hard fought race in fourth place as he crosses the finish line, concluding a very memorable athletics career at SFU. The women's final of the four by 100 meter relay, Jane Chanel out first passes to Ruki Abdullahi who would give the baton to Brianna Kane. Kane hands the stick to Cassie Keeping who would bring it home down the straight to finish in third place in the nation. Kristen Kolstad is up with the leaders in the women's 1500 meter final. It is also Kolstad's final race for the clan. As she kicks it down the straight to cross the finish, Kolstad would grab seventh place ending an excellent four years with the SFU team. Rochelle Barnett, the rookie who trains with Rookie, makes this high jump her best of the day at 1.6 meters. Rookie Abdullahi competing in her fifth event at Nationals. Today, no surprise, as she wins the high jump easily at 1.75 meters, then immediately runs over to the track to compete in the 400 meter final. In the women's 400 meter final, Rookie Abdullahi blasts off the final time for the clan. Abdullahi gives everything she has, much like she has done her entire four years at SFU. She holds on to a second place finish. With this and her four other events at nationals, she would capture 44 of the total 69 points the women's team earned over the meet. The final race of the day for SFU is the women's 800 meters. Jessica Smith and Allie Hudson are in it for the clan. At the 400 meter mark, Jessica makes a move to get up with the leaders. She runs to the outside with a burst of speed to make it interesting for the second day in a row. Because as they head down the final stretch, Smith pulls out the nitrous oxide, she turns it on, and leans in to win the women's 800 meter national title. Behind Smith is Hudson, who finished 6th, earning All-American honors. The Simon Fraser University women's track and field team would finish as the second place team at the 2008 NAIA National Outdoor Track and Field Championships with Ruki Abdullahi being named the most valuable female performer with her 44 points. It was good. I'm going to miss the team, the whole NAIA uh, experience, but I know I'm going with uh, something positive. I've learned a lot from my coaches and from watching other people run. So I'm happy I'm going uh, moving forward, but at the same time, I'm going to miss the team a lot. So I don't know. I think the, the biggest thing I can take away from all this, like obviously the track is important and it's it's fun and the train, you, you know, the training is good and that's always going to be with me. But it's just like all the friendships and all the fun I've had, like outside, like off the track, is going to be more what I'm going to miss. And then in next year, like just not taking a van down to practice to like Mon Monday Park or something and coming back, like the stupid small things like that are going to be what I'm going to miss more than than I think the the hours of training every week and the. Uh, and all that. It's great. I, I couldn't uh, expect anything better. It's uh, been a great season and I'm looking forward to next year of course. I love outdoor track so um, next year's gonna be even more exciting. This concludes the 2008 outdoor track and field season for the Simon Fraser University clan. For the Clan Athletics Network, I'm Gareth Maddock-Jones.